Hello everyone, I am Miss Best to be a blessing. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. With that being said, this is a reading for my Virgos, Tauruses, and Capricorns. Mm-hmm. So let's get right into your reading for today. First and foremost, you have the Ten of Cups, and you also have the Ten of Swords. This doesn't mean that you have a lot of things definitely on your mind, but I feel like a lot of good things are definitely taking place for you, okay? You can have the happy home life and things of that sort, and you're working toward that. That's what you're building. You know what I'm saying? Some of you are going to have to stand in your strength because you got the Leo card here. You could be dealing with the Leo. Standing your strength in regard to possibly, maybe there's going to be some type of opposition that's going to come up against you. Or you're going to have to get ready for an ending that's going to be taking place. With all endings, always come newbie beginnings i see that you're not afraid to jump out and do something new and exciting here with this full card here okay maybe it's time for you to go on a new journey because it's time i feel as though creativity is definitely high with you guys and i feel like a lot of communication is definitely taking place is what the cards is saying some of you are definitely going to be traveling as well I feel as though, even though somebody could be running their mouth and talking about you and things like that but whatever it is it gets back to you is what i'm saying that whatever they say it comes back to you it's up to you to handle you can't handle what somebody say um about you but you can um handle your own stuff in regard to how you react to it okay you guys mm-hmm Three of Cups, there's celebrations definitely on the rising with the Sun card. That means celebrations, like maybe you're going to go to an outing, a party, a get-together, or something like that. And um, the Sun card lets me know that there's happiness definitely surrounding you guys. And so you definitely need to get outside in the sun. Mm. A Magician card, you, you can be happy in regard to something that you've manifested here. Some of you have to be manifesting some good things. I feel like some of you could have... Um, I see an enemy that definitely could be shedding their skin. Like, they could be a chameleon. Like, they could be one way, one way. You think that this person is one way and they're not that way at all. Do you know what I'm saying? So, you got to keep your eye on that. But it also could mean like there's a new rebirth in regard to you as well. If you're spiritual, you'll know what I mean. Okay, plenty of offers definitely going to be on the table. Remember to use your intuition in regard to that. Sorry about the sirens, you guys, but it is what it is. <laughs> so something's going on. That's a definite something is going on. I'm going to see if they'll pass soon. I think they're going to be passing soon. my damn video okay so anyway you guys i feel like your ships is definitely coming in on the horizon and i see here you have the two of cups there's a partnership you could be working to um build a, a steady foundation with you guys it's also letting me know that you're very guarded or somebody's very guarded here or you could be feeling like you're trapped. In other words, this card over here is telling me that you need to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You know what I'm saying? You might be in the midst of some wolves. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. I know I keep saying you know what I'm saying. But it is what it is. Get in, fit in, or else get the fuck. All right? Mm-hmm. That means that you're definitely going to have to make some head of hard decisions. But if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready when you have opposition that comes up against you. I see here you're definitely in your own energy. With the nine of pentacles and three of pentacles lets me know that you have a close you, you pay close attention to your finances but um you don't miss out on anything mm -mm. you don't miss out on nothing you 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 have a good eye for detail in other words seven of pentacles is that you planted seeds for prosperity growth and wealth so that's good. You know about when you work, you know, you save some and you spend some for your pleasurable things as well. But you know, you got to build something for your um, children. If you have children, you want to make sure that you're leaving something to them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some of you could be dealing with the Aries individual, but I feel like this is you standing your ground in regard to something. Okay, you're standing in your ground in regard to somebody could be throwing a tantrum or in their emotions or feeling some type of way. Because this is the Five of Cups. They feel like they've lost you or something like that. Or maybe they're trying to get their way in regard to something and you're you're not having it. You're like, mm -mm, not going for it. And they're throwing a tantrum or a fit or something like that. And you're saying, I said what I said. 
it is what it is. So what the fuck did I say? <laughs> anyway, you guys, um, lots of clarity and truth is definitely going to be coming in for you guys. I see that you're going to be juggling. Some of you need to watch where you're walking. Mm-hmm. Um, just watch your footing because I'm not saying that you're clumsy, but sometimes you may step on something that you could hurt yourself, okay? Okay, there could be some new love on the horizon with this Ace of Cups or doing some of the opportunities going to be opening up for you guys as well. You have a lot of competition here. You see competition, but that makes you stronger, Earth signs. It makes you want to push forward and do better for yourself. You have the star card here. The star card talks about healing. It's an Aquarius card. It also talks about wish fulfillment. Some of you are definitely at a crossroads in your life. You're trying to decide what you should do. Should I go to the left or to the right? Get with your inner self so you'll know exactly what to do. Sometimes you feel like you're carrying a heavy load here, you know, because you pick up on yourself as well as other people's stuff as well. And that's a lot to be carrying, you know what I'm saying? Here it is. Somebody feeling left out in the cold. You done kick somebody ass to the curb, uh-huh. But keep on following your intuition here with the high priestess because I feel like there's a lot of more changes to come within your life, Ursan. I mean, shit, it is what it is. I'm expected to be a blessing. If you like your own personal reading with me, you can always call me at 347-227-5723. Thank you guys so much.